Now, whilst that was going on, there was also a, a rescue mission, an offer of help from the um, Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association charity. And as I said, Dr. Aziz Hafiz is with me. Now, you took a team of 10 volunteers from Huddersfield, Keithley and Bradford. You went down to a flooded village in Somerset. What did you want to achieve? Um, hi. Um, again, it's just reiterating what Peter has said. Lots of voluntary organisations putting their part in. And with our team, part of 150 volunteers that were going out there quite regularly. And it was just the basics, as Peter has just said, sandbagging, making passages to allow cut-off villages. I mean, we were in Somerset in Burbridge, which were there every day. And that was bad, wasn't it? It was. And the village is basically cut off, and you've got volunteers, you've got the fire crews trying to make a passage along the river. So it just makes easy passage, helping people in their houses. Obviously, we're in Egham and Staines and Chertsey. Wherever you can help, we do help. And there's lots of voluntary organisations that are out there, and we just play our very, very small part. Uh, and when you take your team down, they stay in B&Bs, they pay for themselves. Yes. You know, so this desire to get in there and make a difference, it, it goes beyond the time, doesn't it? I mean, it's about putting yourself there. I mean, it is. I mean, you have a, you have a social responsibility, you have a moral responsibility, and for us, we have a religious responsibility to go out there and help wherever you can, in whatever small way you can. And these things sort of put life into perspective. We see it on our TV screens and it's somewhere else. It's in Bangladesh or it's India, but it's not. It's in our backyard. Yeah. It's at home. And did they make you welcome? Very, very welcome. I mean, the, the villagers and the locals, uh, their, their resilience is, is just undescribable. I mean, what they have to go through, I mean, there's there were elderly women wheelbarrowing with us and it was embarrassing for us to say, please, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> so we have... It was amazing. Will you go and back? It continues. We're, we're, we're there every day. Every day. We're, we're there every day, and the teams have been there for the last fortnight. I was there last weekend with my team, back again this weekend. Are you? Are you in, in between the day job. Yeah, I've got to say, because, I mean, you know, you've got uh, our you know life here in West Yorkshire, but you just say, so your weekend again this weekend will be helping those in Somerset. Yes, I'll be down there with another team. All right, well, our best to everyone who's part of your team and part of your charity. Thank you very much. You can follow our work on muslimsforhumanity.org, and you can see all the work that we do yeah and that's a huge amount of work it's a small little part that we play yeah it's very nice to see you thank you very much dr aziz Havis. thank you from the uh, armadier muslim youth association charity they've been down there helping alongside our firefighters and other volunteers fantastic work